All I know is that they were out in the open so much for no real reason at all that I was like, hmm, okay, maybe this dino bat situation isn't really that serious? Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today we're talking about Netflix's new movie, The Silence, adapted from the book by Tim Levin. The film already been compared to A Quiet Place and Bird Bots as it follows a family seeking safety in a remote location when they find their world under attack by ancient creatures who hunt by sound. When they think they've found safety, they find a new enemy in a silent cult. Give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like my videos and of course drop down in the comments so that we could talk about the silence together. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So let's start off with the good. First of all, this is a really star studded cast. We have Chilling Adventures of Sabrina co-stars Kiernan Shipka and Miranda Otto who go from from niece and aunt to mother daughter in this film and we also have Stanley Tucci and John Corbett who round out this cast. The other thing that I thought was nice about this film is that unlike Bird Box and A Quiet Place we actually get to see the dino bat monster creatures that are attacking this world. We get to learn a little bit more about where they come from and why. On the other side of things though even though there were a lot of incredible actors in this project none of them were able to save this film. The performances just had very little energy, very little urgency even though they're in this kind of end of the world survival scenario. The script also fell really flat. There was no suspense and it just felt like an aimless storyline. And they led the synopsis of this film talking about the importance of Kiernan Shipka's character losing her hearing and going deaf at 13 and how that was going to play a really big part in her leading her family to safety and why she's being targeted by this cult who want to exploit her heightened senses. But that's not really a plot point actually at all and her character doesn't have any heightened senses or abilities. In fact, her deafness only serves as an explanation of why all of these characters know sign language. I know this film has gotten some backlash for not using deaf actors to portray the deaf role, and I think that would have made a lot of sense because honestly, even though we did have a star-studded cast here, these actors didn't come in and save the production. So maybe having um, a fresh new face come in, someone who actually represents that experience, would have been something really refreshing and cool to see. Although I will say that I don't think it was all the actors' faults, I do think that this was was not a very strong script so you know maybe whoever came in the story still would not have been as good as it could be. Her character also isn't really the one leading the charge. I would say that that was Stanley Tucci in the role of the father. Unlike A Quiet Place they don't actually translate the sign language for us in subtitles or anything so at some points it's really hard to follow what's going on and I think that was a misstep because it can leave audience members feeling a little bit lost. All I know is that they were out in the open so much for no real reason at all that I was like hmm okay Maybe this dino bat situation isn't really that serious? And then I guess they proved me right because the last like 20 minutes of the film they completely drop that storyline and bring in this religious cult. The standoff between the preacher and his cult and the family just felt like it came out of nowhere. It didn't really make sense. In this like kind of frustrating turn you didn't really understand why this cult is targeting this family so intensely. When it comes down to it, The Silence is a very slow and bland film that I feel like had no real direction or message. And even though they had some big names, it felt like they really wasted this talent and that the talent didn't really bring uh, anything new or exciting to this film. The Silence reads as a bad made for TV movie and while sometimes those can be so bad they're good, that was not the case for this one. I have to say I was expecting a bit more, especially with the cast that we had here, so I was a bit disappointed. I would recommend skipping The Silence and if you want more Sabrina and Aunt Zelda, just rewatch Chilling Adventures of Sabrina again. If you like this video, you can check out more of my reviews over here and please drop down in the comments to continue the conversation. I can't wait to hear what you guys thought about the silence. See ya!